and there was a taxi driver and when we uh, entered his taxi I always said Igipimo, Igipimo and then mm -hmm. he put Igipimo Can you sing a bit Igipimo? <laughs> I'm not a singer <laughs> Yes, yeah, I but, know But uh, Birenzi Igipimo, Birenzi Igipimo <laughs> That's it? No uh, <laughs> Binyu Munyezero, Iranu Ushura Yura, Umuru Shadagu Kunda, Birenzi Gipimo. My name is Kanza, I am 21 years old. I'm is it Kanza? Kenza? Kenza. Kenza? Yes. Your full names? Kenza Johanna Amelot. Uh, I am 21 years old and this year I am participating in Miss Belgium. I chose to participate this year because I think that I'm fully grown and I understand what I want to achieve. Um, I am very proud to participate in Miss Belgium, but I will not forget my Randis part. I am very, very happy to be half Randis and I really like my country as well. Um, in 2020, I watched Naomi become Miss Rwanda and I was so proud of her because she made such a big difference for uh, the people in Rwanda and I would, look, I would like to do the same. I followed her on Instagram for a couple of years and then we started messaging each other because I really like um, how she helps around these people. And when I joined Miss Belgium, she supported me by putting it on her story and I really appreciated that because it is the same competition, just different countries. But because I was born in Belgium, I will participate in Miss Belgium this year. My project is when you start education and you have a difficult home situation or you don't have the abilities to buy the same books as other kids, they immediately put you in a box that you can't achieve university later or you should start working early and I'm, I, I don't like that, I'm not a fan of it because every kid is smart in his own way but if we help them from a young age achieve uh, good books, good teachers, good help, psychological help, they will have a <clears throat> bigger chance to go to university to change their financial situation when they are older and that is something I can do by uh, making it noticeable that even though we are in a European country, that we are in a, in a big country like uh, Belgium, the kids ne still need a push in the back and help to achieve uh, their future accomplishments. So that is really what I want to do. And if I have another option, if I become Miss Belgium, I would like to maybe start looking at Rwanda, how can we maybe do things together with Rwanda because I know Rwanda is a big country by themselves. I believe that Rwanda does not need help of Miss Belgium or in Belgium because now Rwanda is a country that has its own power, its own money, its own leaders. So if we can help each other and not just one country helping the other, it can be a friendship, an alliance and not a uh, yeah, a European country helping an African country because I'm not a fan of that. Mm. I'm not. Why? Because I know that in history it uh, seemed necessary to go as a European country hand out money, but I think it's more important that, not, not Rwanda, but maybe a country that needs help, it's, it's better to go there, show them how they can make money from, the, from the, themselves, how they can change their economy uh, with their own leaders, and then in the future they will grow as a country. But if a European country thinks, oh, we will fund them, we will give them money and they need us, it doesn't help the country in the long run. It just shows how we help them. But I don't think it's a good uh, way to help a country. Um, the purpose of becoming Miss Belgium for me is helping kids in a difficult situation right now. Because we uh, live in a very welfare country, Belgium is a very rich country, but there are still a lot of kids in Belgium who need help with school, who need financial help, who don't have a proper education, even though we have a lot of schools here. So as Miss Belgium, you can really make a difference and start a non-profit organization to help those kids to go speak in schools. And I know Rwanda is already doing this for a lot of children. And Naomi also participated in a lot of good causes. So I would be so happy if I could do the same for Belgium while keeping my Rwandese side um, uh, as well and showing them that I am proud of both countries. Okay, she is Kenza, 20. 21. <laughs> 21 years old. Yes. I'm going to Miss Belgium. I have. 
Why do you have Rwanda on your heart? Because I went to Rwanda every two years when I was little, uh, sometimes every year for two months, and I lived with my grandparents because my mom takes good oh, yeah. care Do you know of the me. place in Rwanda? Yes, we exactly. lived for a long time in Gikondo, in Gikondo. and then we uh, moved to Nyarutarama. Mm -hmm. So I was a lot of um, a lot of uh, vacations were in Rwanda for me. My mom went to restaurants; she had fun, <coughs> but I stayed with my grandparents. Um, and it really showed me how loving Randy's people are, how much I keep my family there and how proud I am of being a Randy's woman. And for me, Rwanda is somewhere where you are, you feel safe, you feel loved. And that's what I keep in mind when I still go to Rwanda now. I went last summer and for the first time I explored the country uh, by myself and uh, I went um, uh, by, with two and we took the car and I saw um, I saw Kibuye, I saw the national park and those are the memories that I had as a kid and now I did it as a full-grown woman mm. so I really liked to see how much uh, Randa grows every two years I go and there's a new building there's a new company there's our new school so I'm so proud um, of what Randa has become in 2023 okay what are the challenges to be half Rwandese, half Belgian? It's, it's difficult to feel fully to one country because sometimes there are people who will tell you, oh, you're not a real Belgian, but even in Rwanda, I can... Uh, in Rwanda, they, they call you Muzungu. Muzungu. When and I in Belgian... Like, Muzungu, Muzungu. In Belgian, you're uh, not Belgian. In Belgium, you are not Muzungu. No, you're not Muzungu. They call you... Oh, they, I don't know what they call me. I don't want to know. <laughs> um, but um, for me, it's, it's difficult because I, I understand the Kunva Kinyarwanda, but I haven't been to school there, so I can't speak it. So if I come to Rwanda, they immediately see I was not born there. Mm. And then they call you Muzungu. And nah, nah, nah. But if How you do you try, feel when they call you Muzungu? I, I don't mind. It's funny because when they see I try to speak, they appreciate it. Mm. They start laughing with you. They are happy to talk to you, so I can see they appreciate me trying to speak in Yaranda and just use words and not sentences. <laughs> in the I will say bite, and when they say you speak in Yaranda, I said that then I can also say Dashaka uh, Amafranga, Dashaka Amazi, Dashaka Ivirio, Ego Dashaka Ivirio. Can you order food in restaurants yes, in Rwanda? Yes, I can try to read it. I will understand. If they try, I can try, and it works. Mm -hmm. um, I also drove by Rwanda, and we got stopped by police uh, uh -huh. a couple of times to do a control. And when they saw I tried to speak, they laughed and they let me go. They say, you are okay. Rwanda and go. Go, <laughs> so okay. okay. Uh, any favorite food, Rwandan food? Yes, I really like isombe uh, because I can't eat it here or maybe in some uh, restaurants. So when I go to Rwanda, I want isombe and uh, um, bananas. I really like the bananas. Um, bananas? Yes. Imineke? Egg. Imineke. Hey. <laughs> so when I go to Rwanda, I really like the food there and I really like the the passion fruit. Amatunda. Amatunda. Passion fruit. I really yeah, but like Amatunda. Nip, nip. Mm. And, and the Fanta as well. When I was a kid, I almost drank 20 bottles of Fanta every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Kenza, Ujerajeza Kuvugi in Yaraguanda, Nubutavuchi, Murguanda, Ariko Ukundu Rwanda. Young Jira Jumva. Ego. Why? Because I didn't like when mm -hmm. my mom and aunts were talking about me and I didn't understand. <laughs> so I was like, I need to understand this. And uh, I asked my grandma a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. So when I hear a word, I will go and ask her, uh, what does it mean? And she will tell me and then I learned uh, a lot of words so I can understand the sentences. And I also listened to random music on the radio. Uh, back in the day when uh, Madi uh, put out Igipimo, I was... Igipimo, how old uh, uh, were you? Oh, Igipimo, I was like, I don't know, You're 10, like 11? 10. I think 10, 11. Mm -hmm. It was 2009, maybe, I don't know. And there was a taxi driver, and when we uh, entered his taxi, I always said, Igipimo, Igipimo, and then mm -hmm. he put Igipimo. Can you sing a bit, Igipimo? <laughs> I'm not a singer. Yes, yeah, I but, know. Birenzi uh, gipimo, biarenzi gipimo. That's it? No. Uh, 
Mm. Bini umu nye zero, iranguyo, ushura yura, umuru, shadagu kunda, birenzi gipimo, biarenzi gipimo. Undi muhanzi ukunda murugwanda ni inde? Urete medi? Um, Bruce Melody. Bruce Melody. But I don't remember his songs as well as Medi. Hey, okay. Kenza, um, what does it take to, uh, to join uh, Miss Belgium? To join Miss Belgium, you have to know exactly what you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. you, if you want to achieve helping others, you can do that. If you want to start a non-profit, you can do that. But you have to be very specific about the reason you want to become Miss Belgium. And if it is for good reasons, and uh, you need to have a strong personality because you will get a lot of questions, a lot of attention. And if you can't handle that, you cannot become Miss Belgium. Um, so yeah, I think if you have a good mindset and a good heart, you can achieve it. Okay. Uh, was it easier for you to join the competition? No, I think it, it starts very difficult for everyone. You need to very, really show them who you are. Mm -hmm. The only um, easier thing for me was that I am already a model. Mm -hmm. Since I was 17, I started modeling work. So when they take pictures of me or videos, I'm very comfortable. So I will uh, look very confident from the beginning. So that's the only thing that was maybe a bit easier for me than maybe for other girls. In some beauty pageants, uh, there has been uh, an issue of uh, racism. Yes. What about uh, in European think, countries? I think Miss Belgium handles it very well to show that every girl is accepted in the contest. It doesn't. Uh, you don't, it doesn't matter your religion or your skin color or your education. It's about what you want to achieve and how well you could be in Miss Belgium. Of course, there are some people with uh, other mindsets and there are, that are maybe a bit racist, but I think that's, that is in every country. And uh, if the organization has the right values, that's the most important for me. I don't mind if people uh, say mean things. If I know the organization supports every skin color, I will participate because in every sector, even the economy, even business, even uh, medicine, you can get racism if you have another skin color. So if you have a strong uh, character, I think you can handle it. Have you experienced that issue in your life? Yes, I have experienced a lot of racism because I had a other skin color. So when I go to uh, elementary school or secondary school, uh, I got called a lot of names. Uh, it hurt a lot as a kid, but now it made me very strong and it made me want to support those kids. It, it makes me want to change that and maybe hope that this generation of young kids will not endure what I have to endure. And even though I am uh, light-skinned, it doesn't matter. For to a lot of people, black is black, and there is no difference. And uh, black is beautiful. Black is very beautiful, and <laughs> if I can maybe change their mindset and show them that it doesn't matter if you're white or black or, or Asian, everyone is beautiful in their own way, and in this time there is no more place for racism. Uh, was it your dream uh, to to be part of uh, Miss Belgium yes. beauty pageant? First of all, my dream was to become a model and I achieved that, but then I felt like... At 17 years old. At 17 age. years old, and I felt like, wow, that was great, but I can't help other people with, with modeling. I'm just, I can be proud of myself when I see the pictures, when I see the books coming out, <laughs> but it's not a, a, a very proud feeling like helping someone else. And with Miss Belgium, they give you a platform to help other people and to be a role model to some uh, kids or even adults. So for me, it was a dream to become Miss Belgium, to do the right thing. Okay. Are you confident uh, you can win? I am confident I have a chance to win. And I'm also confident that I will do everything uh, in my power to try to win uh, and to be confident on stage and show people why they should vote for me. So yeah, I'm pretty confident that I have a chance. How do we vote? Um, you can vote internationally by going to the Miss Belgium site and uh, going to the candidates and then you can uh, push on Kenza and then you can do a vote for me. Uh, but I will uh, give you the link so you can maybe put it in your bio and then they can push on it immediately. Mm. So it's uh, a bit easier for you guys. Here you go. You can follow me on Instagram if you write Kenza Amelot.
Kenza? Amelot. Spell it. A M E L O O T. E se zrovna mi chyně rgo. Šá. Urako ze čany. Merci. Bye. Muraveho. Muraveho.